The topic of sets is by far the simplest topic to grasp in mathematics since we have to tackle just three simple questions. First, what are sets? Second, why do we need them? And last, how do we represent them? Let's tackle the first question in this video. What are sets? A set is basically a collection of things. Think about it. What if you were asked to make a list of all the things you can see? Of course, you can't write all the things, but some of the things you would mention are a tree, a cell phone, a puppy, people, and so on. And what if you were asked to write down a list of things you cannot see? You would probably write oxygen, heat, and so on. These are the things you cannot see. A set is a collection of elements, yes, but they have to be related in some way. Let us look at a few more examples to understand better. Try to list down all the cricket playing nations you know of. I would probably have said India, England, Australia, Pakistan and so on. Now try to list all the oceans you've heard of. If you didn't know, there are five oceans in the world. Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Arctic and Southern Ocean. Now here's an interesting question. Can we make a set of elements for all the questions you're asked for? The answer is no, not necessarily. What if we were asked to make a list of the good teachers we know? We cannot make a set here because my idea of a good tutor may be completely different from yours. Similarly, we cannot make a list of intelligent students we know. The word intelligent is not well defined. So remember, another important characteristic of sets is that the elements in it should be well defined. All the elements in a set should be related and well defined.